Can you tell me what kind of man is Artur Avila? Ah, <laughs> that's some question. Um, he's a nice guy, which I'm not sure comes across immediately. He's a really nice guy. Um, of course, he has a kind of different personality, but he's very generous with uh, uh, students and, and uh, collaborators. He likes to collaborate with uh, other mathematicians. He has a huge list of, of co-authors and so on. So he's also very communicative. Um, and I think one of the perhaps most surprising things for people who don't know him as, as well as I do is that uh, he's very uh, conscious of the uh, role that he can have in Brazil and in, the, in, in Latin America as, as a role model for, for young people. You know, after getting the Fools Medal, he has been very available for whatever uh, activity or initiative that we uh, uh, ask him to contribute to. Uh, and uh, and uh, so it's, it's, it's kind of... And what makes him such a good scientist? Oh, well, that's, uh, that's an even harder question. Um, he has very, uh, I mean, of course, he's very powerful at the technical level. But also, he has an amazing capacity to put together things that are apparently different, which is perhaps the best definition of a great mathematician, is, is the, the, the ability to, to link uh, different things and bring different tools to, uh, to, to play in whatever he's doing. It, it's, it, can, it can be a surprise to collaborate with him uh, on various occasions, you know, things just come together because he has this very broad uh, way of, of attacking the problem. He's not much at the Institute, though. <laughs> no, he has uh, his own way of, of uh, working, but we are used to that. Uh, every mathematician is a different person and, and with different uh, styles. What's his, what's his way of working then? I guess he, he likes to think all alone, uh, and that often during the nights, that's what I, I gather from, from uh, testimonies uh, from him and, uh, and other people. And, and then um, that's perhaps his most creative uh, stage in terms of, of doing math. And then of course there's the whole thing of, of interacting with, with other people and of course other, other people bringing also uh, their own contributions. But I think that's it. Uh, we are used to that. It's, it's not so unusual for mathematicians to uh, be very productive by 3 a.m. And, and so that, that's the way it works. We show them a lot on the beach. That's also true, and, and the gym, and, and all that seems to to, uh, to add to his uh, capacities. Yes, that's true. Como a gente tinha, como a gente escolheu derivada de SW em relação a x igual a zero, então meu a vai ser zero, o b vai ser 1 e o c é zero. Então você define, você define aquela função. E aqui está o meio. Como que vai ser o meio? Você cria um ponteiro para sua classe physics. <coughs> BL, a gente acabou de, de declarar. Esse A aqui supõe que. Dado, dado esse instante, você já conhece. Aí você cria um vetor de ponteiros para a classe physics. Como eu não tenho pressão, então se eu vou ter a condição de fronteira esquerda e direita, eu posso ter só duas posições. E aí eu crio uma, uma instância da classe BLBC, à esquerda, que, que é a que vai setar essa condição de fronteira, e já, a, já coloco ela para apontar para a primeira posição. E à direita, eu não tenho condições de fronteira.
toch niet? Ja, nee.